I'm going to show you today how to change the teacher here where it says teacher. We're going to change that to your name and also how to set up this main um, page here to have your um, information as well as to add a picture. So if you look here, um, we're going to change your, your page from the teacher name to your name. We're going to make this your welcome page by adding information um, like a picture of yourself, and I'll show you how to do that, and then some of this other information as far as your biographical and contact information. First thing you do is um, within your um, teacher template here, we're going to go ahead at the very top and click on the pencil. This is how you edit the page. So now we are in the editor mode. The name of your page is teacher. Let's go ahead and change this to our name. I'm going to put Mrs. Dellery. You obviously could put your first and last name. This could be Mr. This could be Ms. This could be Dr. However, um, you would like um, your web page to address you. Now I'm going to kind of um, down here where it says instructions, I'm going to put a couple spaces in there and go back to the top. Right up here, um, we are going to insert a picture. And so I've got a picture ready to go. So I'm going to go insert couple things, you can insert an image. Um, that's really gonna look for an image that's on your computer. So if you're on your Mac computer, this could be in your documents, this could be in your download, this could be in your desktop, wherever you've stored that picture. Same things with, with the Windows laptop or desktop. Um, this is gonna be basically on your computer. If you insert um, from your drive and insert an image, again, that's just gonna find images within your drive. Um, but I've actually downloaded it to, I'm on right now a Chromebook and I've downloaded it to the Chromebook hard drive. So I'm actually going to add an image just like you would on your, your Mac desk, or excuse me, your Mac laptop. Now you'll notice I have a couple images, um, uploaded, but I don't have the one that I want to use. Obviously those are not pictures of me. So I'm going to upload the image. And again, it's going to pull up the hard drive of your computer that you're on, whether it's a Mac, a Windows, or a Chromebook. So right now you're seeing the, the file structure is opening up from the hard drive of this Chromebook. I think it is anyway. <laughs> and I actually downloaded this, so I know it's in my download part of my Chromebook. And it's still opening up here. Let's let, let it finish a little bit here. So click on my downloads. And here's the picture of me at the very top here. If I can get it to stop loading. And then I just click on open. Again, this would be a little bit different if you were on your Mac laptop or your Windows desktop or Windows laptop. So now that it's uploading my picture, and this is uploading so we can use it on the website. So now I'll see the picture of me and I click on it to highlight it. And I say, okay. So now it's gonna put it, now you'll notice it's huge on my web page here if I scroll down a little bit. Um, I obviously don't wanna have just part of my face. So I'm gonna make this small. You know, I could make this medium, but for, for what I like, I'm going to keep this as small. That's kind of your preference. Um, I'm going to leave it on the left side, but obviously I could put it in the middle if I wanted to, or I could put it on the right, but I like it on the left. That's just a personal preference. You'll notice it has a link. If you leave this link right here, that just means somebody can click on your picture and it opens it up to another page. Um, I don't necessarily need people to have that, so I'm going to click on remove. Now, um, I'm also going to wrap the text around my picture. Um, right now it's not wrapping. So if I click on that, you'll notice that the instructions and everything on there just wraps right around my picture. Um, so that's kind of nice. Do not hit this X button. What that does is remove your picture. That's not actually closing the box. To get rid of that, you just click anywhere and there's how you've got your picture. Now we're gonna go ahead and um, put our biographical information. So we've got our picture in there. We're going to put our teaching information, how long we've been teaching and where, what our professional education is and our contact information. 
and anything else that you feel comfortable sharing with your students and parents. This is really your page. So I've got a little biographical information in here. I'm going to paste it in here. So I'm going to do a control V. That would be a command V if you were on a Mac. Now you'll notice that I've got some really weird formatting here. So I'm going to fix that formatting just by highlighting it all. And I'm going to go up to format and I'm just going to say remove formatting. What this does is it goes back to what the formatting is for that page. Looks like I've got a couple extra spaces in here. I'm going to take those out, get it to the top so that it kind of matches here. Now I've got my biographical information. I don't really need all these instructions down here below, um, so I can go ahead and get rid of it. And hit the back button a couple times. And here is my website. Okay, so obviously there's some things you can play here. You can go to layout and you can change the layout. Um, you're welcome to take a look at that and play around with it. You can add tables to your welcome page or any page that you're creating. Um, you're welcome to play with that as well. You probably saw some formatting on there. Um, up here at the top, there's lots of formatting. You can, um, this is where you can change it to different fonts. You can, excuse me, let me click up here. You can change the size, bold it, italicize it, underline it, change the color of the text. You can highlight the text. You can add links, um, you know, all these different um, formatting up here. So at this point, I'm done with my page. Um, as soon as I am done with it, I just click Save. You're going to notice a few things happening. Remember, we, name, we changed the name of that teacher page. So as soon as it's done saving, you're going to notice that Mrs. Dellery changed over here. Now, changes have been saved, but let me, I'm going to kind of refresh that because this teacher should have changed as well. So refresh that. And you're going to notice that not only did Mrs. Dellery change over here on the side, but it also changes right up here up top. So that's how you um, change your name of your web page as well as get your welcome page started. Thank you for um, watching this video and I hope it helps you.